What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be talking about how you as a man can discover your mission or purpose in life if you have not found it already. You see, as men, you have to understand this one thing. We will go through different phases in our lifetime and during these different phases, there will be different things that are required of us. During these different phases, we will have different missions and different purposes. You see, it's very important as men that we understand when it's fully time to embrace a new venture, new mission, new purpose, and fully let go of the old one. I'll use myself as an example. See, growing up, I played soccer. My identity was fully soccer. Everyone knew me as that soccer superstar, that soccer kid. Every day after school, I'd come back home, run around the house, soccer ball always between my feet. I'd go to the garden, <laughs> break lights. I'd be in the house, breaking stuff. My mom getting mad, my dad getting mad. And then when my dad was done with work, Papa, let's go to the field. Papa, let's go to the field. Papa, let's go to the field. He said, okay, son, let's go. Okay, yo, let's go. So we'd go, play for three, four hours, right? Practicing step over, skill moves, corner kicks, free kicks, penalty kicks, long shots, everything, you name it. But I wanted to do that every single day. That was my mission. That was my purpose. I loved it. I lived for it. I lived for it. No one had to tell me, yo, go do this, yo, go do that. No, I lived for it. I wanted to do it. No one had to tell me shit, you see. Fast forward a little bit. Played for the New York Red Bulls, U16, U18, U23. Scholarship to Northeastern. And when I was 19 or 20, second or third year of Northeastern soccer, I realized, yo, this is not what I want to do. This is not my mission anymore. It's not my purpose. I didn't have that same desire to want to get better, to go practice, Right? I said, something's off. And I had people tell me, yo, stick to soccer. Stick to soccer. You're good at soccer. You can play professionally. Just stick to it. It's all in your head. It's all mental. But at the same time, I was super into bodybuilding, super into content creation. I wanted to be a social media influencer, do YouTube, you see. And I was more passionate about that than soccer. See, had I listened to these other people, I would not be satisfied in life. I decided, you know what? I'm going to listen to myself. I'm going to do what I want to do and not listen to anyone else. But it was tough because my whole identity was playing soccer. Everyone knew me as that individual. My parents, close relatives, right, friends, everyone, you name it. Everyone knew me as that soccer individual. So letting go of that athlete's mask was tough. But I had to do it. I knew I had to do it. I embraced uncertainty because I did not know. I didn't know what was to come anymore. Soccer was everything I knew. I said, I picked up a camera. I like social media. I like bodybuilding. We'll see what happens. Right? Fast forward a little bit, a couple years, got into personal development. At the time, still doing content, photo shoots, video shoots, making money like that. You see, had different clients, this and that, et cetera, et cetera. But it wasn't until I picked up my first book, I started reading found the right mentors, people who, you know, whose values, beliefs, habits aligned with my own. And this is when I started to improve, not just physically, but mentally, emotionally, spiritually, socially. I became a well-rounded individual, someone who could do whatever they put their mind to. And once I started to level up in this regard, I realized, yo, I'm, I'm capable of doing whatever it is I want to do. If I want to open up my own business, if I want to do public speaking, be a content creator, bodybuilder, if I want to, you know, be a personal trainer, do this, do that, I can do whatever I want to do. And if there's a skill that I lack, I will improve on that skill. If I need that skill, I will improve on that skill. And that was my mindset. See, people are always asking me, yo, how do you, def how do you discover your purpose? How do you discover your mission? It's super simple, but people don't want to put in the work. What you have to do is self-reflect, look within. The answers are all within you. Work on personal development. I cannot stress that enough. Work on personal development, self-improvement. As you start to level up, you will find different things that you are super passionate about, different hobbies, different interests, and you're like, wow, I did not know I liked that. You're gonna gravitate towards that, find more books, find more content, find more mentors on that who can help you with that. And then from there, next thing you know, this is your life. This is what you want to do. This is how it works. 
but the answers are within you. You cannot be in a rut. You cannot stay where you currently are. You need to step outside of your comfort zone. Embrace the uncertainty. You will fail. It's going to happen. People are going to critique you, criticize you, say this, say that. There's always people like that out there. But you need to step outside your comfort zone. Do what you want to do. Improve yourself. See, once you start to improve yourself, I guarantee things will become abundantly clear to you. This is what I want to do. This is my mission. This is my purpose. And no one is going to fucking stop me. And some people are lucky. You want to know why? Because their mission, their purpose aligns with some of their hobbies. And then from there, they can monetize what they're doing. Make money. Make this a living. This could be you. But I need you to start with yourself. The best relationship is the relationship with you. The greatest ROI return on investment is the investment in you. So if you want to level up, if you want to find your mission, if you want to find your purpose, start to invest in yourself. Spend time with yourself. Be okay with being alone. And I guarantee things will become a lot more clear and you will find your true calling in life. And with that being said, if you're watching this on YouTube, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you're watching this on Instagram, please double tap and share the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.